everyone. Today we are going to see how we can connect Python to a SQL Server database. So let's get started. The very first step is to install the library PYODBC. So if you do not have it installed already, just go to your virtual environment, go to your Python path and do a PIP command. So PIP install PYODBC. I've already run this command and the PYODBC library should be installed. This would allow us to create a connection to a SQL Server database. Then I've just gone to the Jupyter notebook because I'm going to be writing my Python script in the Jupyter notebook. So here I have opened a new script. Now the first thing I need to do is import my PYODBC library. So that is what I'm going to run now. And then as a next step, I'm going to also import the pandas library and you will see in a while why we need the pandas library. Now we have imported the two libraries that we needed. The next thing that we are going to do is going to create a connection string to the SQL server. Now to, to create a connection string, I have my string created over here. I will just tell you how to fill this connection string. So first of all, you have to identify your driver. So which ODBC driver is installed for your SQL Server. If you do not know this, then just go to your start programs, do ODBC. You will see something like ODBC data sources. Just click on it, go to the drivers tab and then go and scroll down and try to find where it is written for SQL Server and you will know your driver name. So for me, it is ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server. Just pick up this uh, driver name from here and substitute over here. The second thing that you know in, that you need is the server, the SQL Server server address. So you can just go to your SQL Server and if you do not know the address, the address is typically displayed over here or here you can see or whenever you connect to the SQL Server, the login box will give you the address. If you still need to verify, you can just do a select at at server name. So here you can see it is being suggested if you just execute this, you will get your server name. So you can just copy this from here and put it in your connection string over here. Say so third is your database. So database, the database that you want to connect to it. So go to your databases over here, whatever database out of the available databases you want to connect to. I'm just going to connect to the training database and that is what you have to write over here. Now make sure that you do not put it within quotes as I've put over here. I'm going to remove my quotes from here. And then I've said trusted connection is equal to yes. Now you have to turn, you have to write this trusted connection is equal to yes if you are using Windows authentication. So my SQL Server is installed on my Windows machine, my Windows laptop, and I'm just using my Windows login ID to log into it. So I have put trusted connection as yes. If you have a separate server user ID and password, you need to provide those. So I will put that connection string down in the description box and you will you can refer to how to frame your query. So the only thing you will need to change over here is to input your username and passwords. So now that I have this connection string ready, I'm just going to copy it and put it in my script file. I'm just going to copy paste this and run this. So now I have created a connection string. Now to establish the connection, I need to say pyodbc dot connect and pass this connection string that we just created. So connection underscore string. And obviously we need to, uh, we need to put that into a variable. So I need to create something called connection is equal to pyodbc dot connect connection string. So now I have my connection created to my SQL Server database. Now to execute any query, what I need to do is initialize a cursor. So I need to initialize a cursor and then run my ex my queries within that cursor. What we need to write now is cursor is equal to connection. So whatever is your connection string, connection dot cursor. So wherever is your connection, whichever variable contains your connection that you have to reference over here. So connection dot cursor and then brackets. And now to execute any query, you can just say cursor.execute. You can say cursor.execute and put your 
query within double quotes. So select star from department, let's say. So now you can see that there's a message that pyodbc.cursor at this position. So a cursor has been initialized and the query has been executed. Now to fetch the results of this cursor, you will actually use to fetch the results using cursor.fetch1 and do a while loop to go over every record. So we're going to skip that part and make it easier for us using pandas. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my pandas to collect the result to execute this query and collect the results in a data frame. So let's say df is my data frame result. What we can do is we can let's do it as as pd so just reference to the pandas library and say read underscore sql put your string so the string is select star from department that we had over here and pass your connection parameter so this is your connection parameter over here so now if you execute this you will get some message saying that it only supports SQL alchemy. So there's a warning message that we can ignore for now. So you can see that the data frame is now containing the results from the SQL query. And if you want to access, if you want to check what are the results in the data frame, you can just use a printdf and you will be able to see the results in your data frame.